इधर अलाउड टू प्ले एप पबजी और अदर वीडियो गेम्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम व रहमतुल्लाह व बरकातहू इवन इफ अ पबजी गेम ओवर आई वाज अ गेम लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग मेनी मुस्लिम्स आर नॉट अवेयर दैट वन ऑफ द टेक्निक्स एंड वन ऑफ द द फितना शैतान इज कॉजिंग एंड ट्राइंग टू डिस्ट्रैक्ट अ पीपल फ्रॉम द मेन पर्पस ऑफ लाइफ when if you read as for the mouth verse number 2 allah say allah ji khalq al maut wal hayat li yabluukum ayyukum ahsanu amala allah has created a life in the death to test you who among you will do the good deeds during of a lifetime so so one of the shaitan technique in order uh, a human to be distracted from the main purpose that is is a video game not to understand something would naturally even if it's a young or even it's a teenage or even it's a adult playing a video game is wasting of a time because remember something even if someone has a lot of taqwa now shaitan will distract him to to remove him from the main purpose from surah al-mustaqim to put in something else and then he will waste all his mind and his energy uh his mindful what is the duty towards allah was the number one dawa but rather than doing a dawa do something for islam rather he is wasting all his half an hour one hour two hours all in his video games rather it's a puppy game or it's a puppy bar or whatever uh i would totally uh discourage that and all the uh, also my message is for all the parents please uh remove your kids from the video games because this is a technique of a shaitan and shaitan is trying to take away um even the kids even the teenagers and even the adults are being involved in doing these types of things wasting their lot of energy and time and their mind is being being corrupted and their mind and the eyes are being getting corrupted and putting their all energy into the uh, video games but rather do something what is like a reading a book reading an islamic books and also you can uh do think of something what to do uh for the sadaqa jariya that is something do something good in your life rather than wasting a time because the time you wasting under the video games and the games is it either you can you could have used that time to do something what is good but rather you use waste it all the time into something what is useless that is not gonna, let me ask you a question does the public not help in the way no. any video game no nothing nothing is going to help you in any way but rather only thing that is going to help you when you have a good intention to build up your akhira and you want to do something for a muslims and you want to do something for the non-muslims and you bring other people to islam and bring other people to taqwa what is that video game is helping in your life not at all zero mark in the grave on the alpha it has a zero mark so wasted of energy wasting of your eyes wasting of your brain and even i have seen many uh, parents they just buy the tablet and buy the video games and the small uh, p ps something like that to, to the children and they're wasting at the time 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 the time is running on but rather use that uh, time into something what is useful that's going to help you into grow up that's going to help you into the education that will help other people do something that benefit other people the when the video game it it's totally i wouldn't recommend that it is not something what is haram but you have understand from video game is not something haram but rather this is something which is something removing you from islam but rather something removing for islam that is something or uh, tactic of a shaitan to remove you something what are you doing a uh, good now understand something now i'm going to come to the second or uh, second point those people in non islamic countries those adults that is causing a fitna are uh, corrupting the societies uh with the terrorism with the gun fights where does this all this concepts come from this concepts come from from your childhood now i have i i came i came i came across on a google when i have seen they have like a very disgusting and filthy fornication characters on uh, even into the video games the children minds are being their eyes are watching that uh fornication semi nude uh women on that and gun violations fighting what is that trying to teach the children by natural they are learning something of filth 
they are learn learning something fighting they are learning something uh, gun fights so the, all this concept goes into the human beings and when they grow up they use the same tactics they use the same techniques they use the same uh, being short tempered using the guns and all these things and if you go into the history you will find all this so uh, those people are into the jail they are uh, if you go into their the childhood the childhood has been because maybe the parents were being abusive and they have domestic violence many many other factors into the human life that corrupts our human being so this is one of the factor which like a video game teaching our children a violation teaching our children uh, being terrorizing the communities being unpeaceful life sh uh, gun crimes shootings uh, uh, filthy uh, any type of it, it could be anything so what is something they're learning from the games nothing but something what is wrong what is wrong for themselves what is wrong for other people it's nothing a waste of time and even for the North Muslims they are committing a crimes because of their learning all these guns and they are learning from that if you do not like someone you just get the gun and shoot that all these concepts coming from the video games from the childhood and especially for the Muslims it is being recommended it is encouraged and I'm totally going to discourage that please do not let your kids to go into the games because the games are not safe this is not haram directly but this is indirectly takes you away from uh, regular and islamic life into something what is forbidden